tutorial let's learn to read data from an excel sheet in c sharp and use the obtained data in selenium web driver so as an example let's add uh, three web uh, sites here and uh, let's read them and uh, open in selenium web driver so in the first row let's add google.com and in the second row let's add facebook.com and finally in the third row uh, let's add msn.com so and let's save this file uh, with the name as demo so I'm going to save this file as demo and uh, I'm going to save it in desktop and yeah as you can see it has uh, created demo uh, so let's go to visual studio so ensure that you have selenium packages installed here apart from selenium you also need to install a new package go to tools NuGet package manager and click on manage NuGet packages for solution and in the browse uh, search bar browse tab search bar search excel here and choose microsoft.office.interop.excel and i'm going to check this and install so it's going to install this in our current solution so as you can see it has installed the tick mark shows that it has installed the current package to our solution so let's get back to our program in our name namespace section let's add using system dot threading and using open qa dot selenium since i'll be using a chrome browser i'll be adding open qa dot selenium dot chrome and add using excel equals to microsoft dot office dot interrupt dot excel so this namespace is very important in a program as we are going to read data from excel sheet so first uh, let's create a new excel application use the statement excel dot application and let's name as x1 app equals to new excel dot application so this statement is going to create a new instance of excel application now we need to open uh, the demo workbook so in order to do that let's type excel dot workbook and let us name as x1 workbook equals to x1 app dot work books dot open and so this statement will open our demo uh, workbook so we need to add the path of demo workbook here so let's go to desktop click on properties so this is the path let's copy this and add it in our program and also you need to add the file name here and use don't forget to add the add symbol to override so now uh, we need to open a uh, sheet the use the first sheet the many sheets if you have data in sheet 2 you could also uh, read uh, data from this sheet 2 since we have data here all you need to do is use excel dot underscore work sheet and uh, let's name as x1 work sheet equals to x1 workbook dot sheets uh, of one in case you want to use uh, you have data in sheet two uh, all you need to do here is add a two in the index path in case you have in sheet three add three here and so forth uh, so now uh, since in sheet one 
we need to find the range of values in the cell to do that let's use excel dot range and name as x1 range equals to x1 worksheet dot used range so this is going to find the used range here so in our case let's go to sheet one so it is going to find these three so let's declare a string website so now let's go to selenium uh, part so for and i is one i less than equal to three i plus plus so i've added i less than equal to three because we have got three rows here we've got data in these three uh, rows so now to get uh, the value in this uh, row one and column one we use x1 range dot cells and you have the row index here as you can see you have the row index and the column index and to get the value you need to do is use dot value two. so since uh, we have data in first column and the rows differ here so i'm going to add this column index as one and in the cell index i'm going to add as i so if it is row one it is going to fetch google if it is in row two cell two of one dot value will fetch me facebook web link and in row uh, three and column one i'm going to get msn.com so finally uh, let's uh, create a new instance of uh, chrome browser new chrome browser chrome driver sorry and uh, let's open the web page using the navigate.goto url method and i'm going to add website here so as soon as one website is displayed let us wait uh, let us sleep for around uh, 30 milliseconds and let's close the driver so we are done with this program so let's begin executing this so what is the error here end of file i think i've added oh, sorry for this error so now it's going to create a new instance of chrome browser and it is going to open google.com yeah that was the first value in our excel sheet it's closed it now again it's going to open facebook.com that was our second value here so facebook.com and it's going to close and finally it's going to open msn.com so Yeah, here we go. It's open msn.com and it's finished executing a program. So in case uh, you want to know more about the code, uh, please visit my blog. I've added the blog link in the description. And uh, in case uh, you like the video, uh, please uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching this video.